Immersion means recognizing privilege first. Written January 27th, 2020. Traveling 24 hours across the planet. Privilege. With a full suitcase. Privilege. With a group of people who are also earning their graduate degrees. Privilege. This is an experience of a damn lifetime. An experience that many will never have within reach. And with that, let's face the real privilege, my whiteness, the country I call home, my socioeconomic status, my access to education, healthcare, all of it, the freedom I have to make decisions for myself, the fact that my blonde hair and white skin matches the goddamn billboards broadcasted worldwide showcasing beauty standards. The list continues. I was privileged to be able to put my home life on pause, to travel to India in a massive, comfortable plane with food, beverages, and stellar movies at my literal fingertips. And I landed my privileged ass in a third world country and stood out big time. Before immersing myself in Indian culture, I knew that recognizing my privilege, truly recognizing my privilege was a prerequisite. I was not in India to share my education or my views or to wear stylish outfits or to tell people about my life experiences. I was in India to be completely in India and to connect with the amazing people of India, to share my heart with them and to learn from them. Oh my God, did I learn from them. And I also learned a lot from living as a minority. Although my privilege had me living as a minority only short term, and knowing it was only temporary all along, the ultimate privilege. And so while my privilege could not be erased, I embraced third world living however possible. As I neared the end of my journey, I anticipated feeling beyond ready to return to America's comforts. However, I did not feel ready at all. It felt as if my heart was being ripped out of my chest when I had to close that chapter. And now that I am back home, living in full-blown privilege again, and experiencing a whirlwind of emotions, but mostly anger. We live so unnecessarily, luxuriously, and selfishly in this country. We fulfill so many of our individual wants above our world's needs, and we are unhappy and unfulfilled because of it. People in India live so simply, and yet they are outpouring joy, contagious levels of joy, Joy comes from living reasonably. Joy comes from living with the desire to give. Joy comes from true connection with those around us without the use of technology. We must use less, give more. We must connect, love, and share.